Peter Robinson wants less negativity from the media, and he has a point. But it's beside the point, because most news in Northern Ireland isn't generated by news outlets. It's generated by government and bodies funded by government, with DUP politicians playing along, however depressing the headlines. Take MP David Simpson, for example. Last November, he stood up in Westminster and claimed 756 people died here last winter due to fuel poverty. This claim comes from a group called the Northern Ireland Fuel Poverty Coalition and assumes our entire seasonal mortality variation is due to cold housing, which is absurd, not least because three quarters of deaths take place in hospitals and nursing homes. One of the lead organisations in the Fuel Poverty Coalition is the Consumer Council, a quango funded by Arlene Foster's Department of Enterprise. Has Peter taken Arlene aside and told her to stop the negativity? Fuel poverty is an example of what Americans call poverty pimping, exaggerating social problems to lobby for a cause. Child poverty is another prominent example. This is statistically defined so it will always affect a huge part of the population, unless almost everyone has exactly the same income. Yet Peter Robinson's new programme for government, just back from consultation, pays full tribute to this dubious concept and promises to reduce it, although the way it's defined means Stormont can't reduce it, ensuring negative headlines for years to come. Has Peter Robinson considered what investors make of this portrayal of Northern Ireland as a Dickensian wasteland of starving children and hypothermic pensioners? In the Assembly last week, SDLP MLA Mark H. Durkin actually used the word Dickensian to describe Northern Ireland, one of the richest societies on the face of the earth. And it's not just poverty that gets pimped. Every issue from the arts to the environment has an army of public bodies and publicly funded bodies threatening doom and gloom if their pet cause isn't pandered to. And as the resulting tide of hysterical press releases floods out, an increasingly hard-pressed media simply repeats them. Peter Robinson should know how that balance of power has shifted. His executive employs 161 press officers, more than all the newspaper journalists in Belfast. Much of this clamour for public cash is by definition a left-leaning agenda, so why has the instinctively centre-right DUP bought into it? Well, Stormont is a consensus system, and that covers not just all its parties, but the entire political and activist class, who have been given funding and positions to press for more funding and better positions. Everyone gets a seat at the table where they can kick ministers underneath it in the hope Sammy Wilson drops his wallet. When the DUP signed up to power sharing, it was drawn into the whole self-serving circus, hysterical headline grabbing included. Peter Robinson now sits at the top of a vast and cynical scare story machine. Instead of shooting the messenger, he should take aim at the negativity his government funds and his party humours.